Um, what have we, we talked about? Oh, good question from Not John Cena. Thank you, Not John Cena. Blake, you're demoted. Not you're John demoted right Cena. Now. Uh, he says, so what are you expecting from Aquaman? Nothing. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm not expecting nothing. I'm expecting good things. I mean, James Wan got his own Funko Pop. That's cool. James Wan, I believe in. I like James Wan. I think he's going to do it. And I think Aquaman is going to be the character that I personally wanted him to be in Justice League. Did you hear what uh, Momoa said about his that line, so I heard you talk to fish? Right. Did you hear what he said about it? No. He said he begged Warner Brothers to cut that line because he said, if you want me to make this character badass... Like, let me do it. Don't mm. have people be joking around, basically. Don't don't go back to people making fun of Aquaman by making jokes like that. I get that. If I was Jason Momoa, I'd do the same thing. Good for him. But I think he's going to make it badass. And I think him being standalone, just on his own, which goes to my next point. And Why I showed this Batman to you. And I showed this to you. Itself. I showed this to you last night. Okay? This is what I showed you. Last night, Arturo, that is not real. That's just what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? It's the same thing you're talking about, kind of. Thoughts on Matt Reeves having a Batman movie without Ben as the Dark Knight? When was that said? I believe it. I don't think he's going to do it. I hope they've been talking. Bale, come back, please. He won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. won't. Um, Excuse me. Uh, He won't. But the speaking of that, it is apparently tied into the Joker origin movie. So the Matt Reeves Batman is supposed to go in there. But this is what the Infinity War writers. Had said, and I showed this to you yesterday. This was a hit in the heart. And this was a hit, and only because true. I had brought it up a couple times, it and you were true. sitting there looking at me like I was an idiot. And don't get me wrong, 90% of the time I'm an idiot. I will agree to that. I am fine with that. But Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, who right, wrote Infinity, Infinity War, War they had said, I would look at what Marvel did out of necessity in what they didn't have their A-list characters. They didn't have Spider-Man. They didn't have the X-Men. They went down a line and found Iron Man, and they made a really good movie out of it. What they're saying is put the full lineup of DC heroes on the shelf for a moment and focus on just one character and one movie at a time rather than the universe as a whole. And I went really deep for that one because I wanted to. Because I've been saying this for a while. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been saying this. That's what they need to do. And that's where I think the Matt Reeves Batman will be... Fen- I, I don't think it's going to be good. I think that movie's going to be phenomenal. Better than Dark Knight? Listen, man. Dark Knight is great for the Joker. As a full Batman... Christian Bale. No, no, no. He was good, but no one will deny. Heath Ledger stole that show in every which way. Without him, that movie would not be as good. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay. But it was still a great, great movie. Okay, um, like, and this is what happens when you're splitting hairs between phenomenal group movies. However, this is what I'm saying, and that's what I hope they do is that DC puts out these characters because I personally love the DC characters almost, more than almost more than Marvel. A lot of them. The reason why I'm pushing the Marvel characters a little bit up, obviously, is because there is the movie baggage that comes with it. But when you really look at it, like, no one can top a Batman. Top a Wonder Woman. No female in the Marvel Cinematic Universe can top a Wonder Woman in my eyes. Uh, there's a lot of characters that cannot be topped in DC. The villains alone. Superman. I don't Goku. care for Superman. Goku, I take it back. I don't care for Superman. But anyways, so yes, I, I'm a, a full on board with those guys. Uh, great. It's awesome. I'm glad they said it because then it's, in the words of Captain Holt, vindication. Adding on, Arturo Music says... Heard he wants to do a younger Batman and doesn't want mm-hmm. Affleck. I, if I was him, I would do that. Like younger, Arturo, are you talking young? Are you thinking younger in the way I think, of wasn't like? It supposed to be, I heard like in years, his thirties, year one, wasn't it? Oh, actually, I did hear a rumor that's supposed to be year one. It's a rumor though, so take it with a grain of salt and pepper. Interesting, interesting. Now, John Cena says, "Do you think Shazam is necessary at this point of time because DCU is struggling to make a good universe?" Of course, they it is. should focus on making good movies. But that's what I'm saying. Shazam is, I think Shazam is that first step. Well, I think Wonder ha- Woman. Wonder Woman, no, yeah, but Wonder Woman is already part of the DCU. I don't know how connected the uh, Shazam is going to be to everything, and because I haven't read too much on it. But Shazam oh. could be a very good standalone DC movie. It looks like it's going to be fun. And as long as the movie looks good and the trailers are halfway decent. And don't reveal the whole plot. And don't reveal like the whole Batman plot. Superman where you show them teaming up. For sure. For sure. But all of that included, I think Shazam could be that prototype. They're like, okay, one movie that does really well 
with good character development, good story, good this, good that, like just the good parts of a movie, which don't get me wrong, it's very hard to make a movie. I think that will be the thing that DC could use going forward and just make great standalone movies. 